When and where was this photo taken? Today I'm playing Time Guesser, which is basically like GeoGuesser, but it's stationary photos from history. And this is our first one, so it looks like there's a woman being arrested, perhaps she's a suffragette, which I think was like the turn of the 20th century maybe. It also looks like it's the gates of Buckingham Palace in the background, but it might not be. Looking at the fashion, this guy's got the curvy collars like in season one of Peaky Blinders, and I think that was set in the early 20s. And oh, hang on, is that an actual date? May the 21st. Oh, what's that? 19. It's a little bit cropped out. 1914. I'm going to say 1914 Buckingham Palace. All right, let's go for it. If we're spot on, that'll be a delightful round one. Also, want to quickly say, I saw Geo Wizard playing this, by the way. Right, so there's Buckingham Palace. Is that the. Yeah, that's the front. So I guess they'd be here, maybe. And then I need to change the date. So we'll go 1914. Yeah. I mean, 1914 would be around World War One, wouldn't it? That's the start. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, let's click make guess. Oh, spot on. I got a perfect score for the year, thanks to the year kind of literally being written right in front of me. And I got a perfect score for the location as well. <laughs> what a nice start. Oh, it's Emily Pankhurst, leader of the women's suffragette movement, is arrested outside Buckingham Palace while trying to present a petition to King George V. Yes, Amelia. Unreal. That is absolutely epic. All right, next. Oh, so we've got a colour photograph this time and a flag that I'm not too sure on. Oh, God. Yeah, I think I'm going to screw this one up. At first, I thought that was St. George, and I thought these were England flags, but they are definitely not England flags. Is that an actual national flag? I can't see. Uh, I'm not going to get a good score on this one. MTC, okay. Uh, Kochmo, okay. Looking at the people, they look European, but obviously that could be wrong. All of the text are just brand names, I think. So we're not getting any clear language clues unless I'm missing them. God, what's that flag? Yeah, I am not getting this one, am I? Right, okay. Well, what year does it look like? It doesn't look that long ago, does it? It could be maybe 10 years, so we'll change to 2009, 2010. Okay, and for the place, I'm thinking Madrid, but that's not really based on anything. Okay, let's guess and see how we get on. 10 years off, it was only three years ago. It was 2020, and it was over in Belarus. There was a protest against Alexander Lukashenko, Belarus's first and only president who has been in office since 19... 1994. Sounds a bit dodgy to me. All right, I did not recognize any of the flags, so I didn't do too great there. But I mean, it could be worse. We got the consonant. We were only 10 years out of like 100 away. Let's do the next one. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> they have mixed this one up. Well, where's that? This is so hard. I don't know. Oh, this is so difficult because like we could be down in the South Pole or we could be more towards the North Pole. I'm going to assume we're in the Arctic. I just feel like more goes on up in the North. This looks like ice. Oh, it could be anywhere. I might just go... What? How am I meant to do a year as well? I'm gonna go, like, north of Finland. I'm gonna go to... Yeah, I know Svalbard is, like, an area of Finland that's just, like, really, really cold and known for being cold, so we'll go around there. The year, though, I have no idea. How early can we go? 1900. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, it's an underwater picture, so I'm gonna say 2008, but it's just a complete guess. It was 2015 and it was the Antarctica. Ah, uh, Scientists diving through an ice well to access sampling sites at the Dumont de Uville Scientific Station. Seven years off. 3,400 points out of 10,000. Okay, let's get something a little bit more obvious. Right, okay, so we've got a Soviet Union flag and we've got a good quality high megabyte image. Do we have any national flags anywhere? I would probably just assume that this was Russia, but I can't see any flags that have any giveaways. Taking a look at the fashion. Uh, just looks modern day, doesn't it? Right, well, we'll, we'll go Moscow, maybe? I don't know. What's the Soviet Union doing? These days, I've <laughs> no clue. Moscow, and we'll go 2014. Why not? Four years off, but it was Moscow. Okay. Photo of a T-34-85 medium tank adorned with a Soviet Union flag at the 2018 Moscow Victory Day Parade. We actually did quite good there. We got 9,000 out of 10,000, but I feel like it was a lot of luck from me there, to be fair. Four years off, not bad. All right, now our final round, and we've got something a bit more historical again. This is what we like to see. Any sneaky dates down the bottom? Unfortunately not. I do not recognize the this gentleman, but he's obviously some kind of scientist that's done some cool scientist related thing. Kind of looks like the 60s or the 50s. Uh, I would assume he's maybe American, but once again, that's just a guess. I'm going to head towards Washington outside of it. And then for the year, 62? Nah, 58. Should we go 58? Yeah, why not? There's no point wasting any time because I don't really know much. I'm just kind of guessing. Here we go. I was one year off and it was USA, but it was the other side. It was over in towards San Jose. Julian Allen stands beside the 
observation window of the NASA wind tunnel. His findings revolutionized the fundamental design of ballistic missile ships. I mean, I was very close with the year, and I'm glad I got the right country. So that's a final score of 32,000 out of 50,000. That's all right. Right, we're playing again because this is absolutely unreal. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually really enjoying this. Oh, here we go. Round one of five. And it's a very iconic photo. One of the last pictures of President Kennedy before he was assassinated. Oh, when was that? I feel like it was like 1965, but I don't know why I think that. So I'll stick on 1965. That's just an instinct that I've got. And then whereabouts is it? I don't know, but I would assume it's Washington, like not too far from the White House. How sad though that he was assassinated and look at all the security. Everyone just having no idea of like this huge life-changing event that's about to happen. All right, where is the lighthouse? There's the Library of Congress. There's the US Capitol. So maybe we should go around there. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go like outside of it and let's make the guess. Two years off, it was 63. Yeah, fair enough. But he was in Texas. He was in Dallas, Texas. So I was quite far away. That's still a score of 7,000 out of 10,000 to begin with. Not too bad. Okay, let's play the next one. And we've got another black and white image and it looks like perhaps some rioters maybe or protesters perhaps is a better word they're throwing bricks about uh, and we have a little bit of text up the top west k-a-s alleged built england's divine Right, okay then. Looks European, the text doesn't sound English. We have a camera up here, which makes me want to say, oh, I don't know, maybe it's black and white, but the quality's quite good. And the fashion doesn't look that old, like people are in jeans. So I reckon colour photographs existed when this was taken, it just happens to be in black and white. It feels like the 70s or maybe early 80s. So I am going to go 80s and where is somewhere in Europe that would have a little bit of political unrest and require some protests in the 80s? Maybe Berlin. But then I suppose that doesn't look Deutsch, does it? Not quite. I'm going to go with it anyway, and we'll say 1988, because I think that's when the Berlin Wall fell. So, make guess. Uh, it was the 80s. Well, I'm quite good at getting my years, to be fair. Activists protesting against the eviction of Squatter's House in Amsterdam. Yeah, I should have gone somewhere outside of Germany, because I didn't think the text was German, but I didn't know where else to go. But fortunately, it's a neighbouring country, so we're 8,000 out of 1,000. So I think this is going better than round one so far. Next, uh, we've got some trams. This one does look quite a bit older, but not that old to be fair. Like, this kid's wearing some wellies and that doesn't look that old of a top. Oh, hang on. Central something. Central Luvarten. Right, it sounds European again. Maybe 60s? Maybe 50s? Uh, nah, they've got, like, proper traffic lights and stuff. They probably had proper traffic lights in the 50s. I don't already know what I'm talking about. Can I read what this is? Uh, no. No, I can't. Cat Upu, though. I can read that. Well, that's good. I think this is early 60s, like looking at this lady's coat, but then also like the slightly older people having more traditional suits and stuff. So I might go mid 60s, in fact, we'll go like 65. But in terms of place, I've no idea. Looking at the architecture could be like Paris or something, but does that sound French? Not really, but I don't know where else to go. So I'm going to do a 60s Paris. We'll click right there and we shall make our guess. Five years off, 1970. Okay, not far. And we were up in Finland. Helsinki. Pedestrians crossing Aleksanterinkatau at the Keskuskatu intersection at the corner of the Stockman department store during the pedestrian street experiment. Oh, they were testing out pedestrianized streets. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, we got at least over half, so, you know, I'll take it. Oh, it's the fella from the previous round, but can I remember when and where he was from? I think I can. He was uh, San Jose, wasn't he? Was that that guy? San Jose, and it was 19... <laughs> I don't remember. I'll go with like 57 or something. All right, guess. Spot on. <laughs> I'll take the free round. 9,800 points. Thank you. Ooh, now this looks old. We have five children on a horse and the fashion is very old. Like that's like got to be like 1910s maybe, maybe 1920s. Where on earth could that be? I mean, does it look... English? Does it look American? I've no idea, to be honest with you guys. Um, I'll probably say American, though. Should I say American? It could be anywhere in the British countryside, couldn't it? They're dressed kind of like, when I see old family photos, this is what they look like. So based on that, we'll go Britain and we'll go kind of outside of London towards uh, somewhere kind of nice still. Yeah, we'll go near Cambridge, but on the outside and the year, I'm going to go way back to... It could be evacuees. Did they have evacuees in World War One? We'll go 1916 based on 
on that. Let's guess. 11 years off. Oh, it was, I was quite far away as well. It was down in Australia, which I did not foresee. Five children from the Daniels family lined up on one horse traveling to school at Gindi. In 1861, Samuel Daniels sailed from the United Kingdom to Queensland and settled in Gindi. The family still have a presence in Gindi today. So they are British children, technically, to be fair. But I was still way off and I should have gone even earlier. 11 years, okay. Uh, I think I have got a slightly better score, but only by about a thousand. So our challenge is to beat it in the final game. I'd love to get towards 40,000. That would be amazing. Oh my god. God, what an image. Right, that's the Taiwan flag, right? Yes, it's got to be. <laughs> but the fella doesn't look particularly Taiwanese, but I suppose I don't know the full story. And then they're doing a very large dive. Okay, well, let's find Taiwan, and I guess we'll go from there. I suppose it makes sense to go in the capital. Do we go towards the coast? Because, uh, nah, they're not going to be jumping in the ocean. They're going to be jumping in a big pool. What on earth is the story behind this image? Well, I guess we'll find out momentarily. The thing is, they might not be in Taiwan at all. They might just be representing Taiwan in an event and it's like a big red herring but it's all I've got to go on and then in terms of the year I guess I need to zoom in on this fella try and look at his hairstyle not really giving much away because obviously it's going to be a bit damp isn't it and uh, it just looks pretty modern though doesn't it I suppose it could be the 90s but I'm going to go like 2009 no idea let's make the guess okay okay 2011 and we were Taiwan just outside the capital but it was on the coast ocean world so it wasn't actually on the coast but it was on the coast oh man I could have gotten Incredible score there, but 9,600 is nothing to be snuffed at. I'm quite pleased with that. Next one. So, much older looking image. This looks 60s or 70s, and I can see the word Jakarta. I know I Jakarta is. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. It's Indonesia, isn't it? Yes, it's right there. Okay, we zoom in on Jakarta, and then there might be like a more specific word around here. That says 82. Do you think it was 1982? Could that be 82? Yeah, I suppose it could. I would have guessed that was more like 72, but I feel like that's maybe the word August, August 1982. So I think based on that, I've got to go with 82, haven't I? So we'll go around there. And then Teradip. Can we find that word anywhere? No. What about Meningkatkan? Whoa, this place is dense. Look at how far you zoom in and you see so many tiny, tiny buildings. Okay, I'm probably just going to guess there because I reckon I'll get a pretty good score out of it. Okay, hopefully the year's right. Yes! Students attending the 1982 Indonesian Film Festival in Jakarta. So specifically, it was up here in a convention centre, but we weren't too far away at all. Right, we are on track to get a new high score. Come on, where we are next? Ooh, okay. So this looks like World War II, doesn't it? US World War II. Oh god, where do I go though? Surely I don't go in the US. Surely I need to be in Europe, you know, in like France or something. I don't know. I wonder if there's any kind of clues that we can find because fortunately you are allowed to zoom in pretty far. It's a really great game this, by the way. I'll definitely leave the link in the description and please let me know if you want to see me do more of it. Do you know what? I'm saying World War II, but it could be like the Vietnam War or something and the photos just being put into black and white because like, don't their hats look a little bit modern? I don't know if I should get thrown off by this. I just feel like the World War II hats were more just shiny tin and they didn't have like a camo tech extra over the top, but maybe I'm just talking out of my absolute ass. I just don't see what the Americans would gain by whacking up a big US flag in the middle of Europe, but I suppose they are American to be fair. I'm probably just gonna have to go with World War II, but I do honestly think like I've been red heron by the black and white. Do we go in Dunkirk? It doesn't look like it's on the coast, does it? But why not? And then I'll go towards the end of the war, 1944. Guess. One year off. It was over here. Where even is this? Oh my god. Invasion Beach. Raising the flag on Iwo Jima is an iconic photograph of six United States Marines raising the US flag atop Mount Suribachi during the Battle of Iwo Jima in the final stages of the Pacific War. Okay, I suppose it would have made sense to go towards Japan with them being US flags, so I'm really quite far away there. But at least that was only one year off. Right, we've got some ground to make up. Ooh, what's going on here? We've got some white men in suits. And he's doing a big yawn. So they look like government people. People. We might have a president or a prime minister here. Do we have any clues that'll suggest what country this is? Because there could be so many places. We've got something on there. What's that? I don't know. I don't recognize that. This phone kind of makes it look like it's early 60s, maybe 50s. We'll go late 50s, I think. So let's get the year set up. I'll go 58. But then what do I do? I'm not sure. I'd probably just go US or UK. The pinstripe suit, I associate more with the US. It might not necessarily be government thing. It could be like some kind of court case maybe. Like maybe this is Al Capone or something. Unfortunately I don't know what he looks like. So because of that I'm gonna go Washington in the US. I feel like I've just 
just been constantly in Washington this video, so we'll go right there near the capital and let's make the guess. Eight years off, Minister yawns during budget debate at the Netherlands House of Representatives. That's a difficult one. It's 1966 and it was over in the Netherlands. Oh, we're in trouble here, I'm not gonna lie. I need a really good score, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm about to get one. Can I remember everything? Uh, no, I can't. Was it 67? Maybe it was 67. I think it was 67 and it was in Dallas, wasn't it? I wonder if there's like a Kennedy Remembrance label somewhere nearby this area if I zoom in. No, I'm not going to find it, am I? We'll stick around there and I think I've got the year right. I don't think I do, you know. Let's guess. Four years off, 63. I think I had it the first time. Oh, God. President Kennedy with his wife, Jackie Kennedy, in a limousine in Dallas, Texas, minutes before the assassination. That's so sad, isn't it? when you think about his wife just sat there having no clue what's about to happen. But on that nice note, we have a final score of 36,000, so I think I did beat my previous record, but still I wanted 40k, so let me know if you want to see me do this again. Thank you very much for watching. The link to the game will be in the description, and I'll see you later.